at 930 on seven ways to rebuild a relationship, right? Facebook, you see the caption say rebuilding a relationship. Now, I'm going to say this. A lot of y'all... You know, you haven't been taught that relationships are based on balance. So I be telling y'all all the time, when it comes to men with women, women with men, men to men, woman to woman, relationships operate based on how balanced and how healthy the relationship is or isn't. Now, you will see people that will stay with somebody for years because, excuse me, they be dumb. You know, for the person, they be toxic, they be in their feelings, they be, you know, driven off of emotion, self-esteem be low there, just put up with shit for years and years and say that they in a relationship, you know, but really they're in a toxic situation, really they're in turmoil, really they're in chaos, right? Balance is everything and nobody wants to be with somebody where they feel like the other person is perfect and I'm always the one that's wrong. I don't care what your sexual preference is. So with that being said, like when I be doing my zooms and I give y'all like steps and tricks and strategies to actually use in relationships, it be based on bringing balance back into the relationship or hell, some of y'all may never have had balance at all. So it's applying balance, you know, to begin with. I talked to y'all about boundaries, management of emotions, Understanding your partner, communicating with them, talking about the change that go on in relationships, because that's something that we have a relationship always throw it off when fucked up shit happens and y'all never actually speak on it from a mature space. Right. But I do want to tell y'all this. A lot of y'all be getting away from just the simplicity of interacting with another person. Y'all be in relationships and situations. And to just be honest, y'all be obsessed with the idea that somebody got to be right, somebody got to be wrong, somebody got to be the villain, somebody got to be the person that's always perfect and on point. Y'all be obsessed with the idea of let me pick out and keep letting this other person know what they're not doing right. And y'all do this shit so much to the point where you lose track of what's right and what's healthy and what's positive in the relationship. To the point where all you find yourself worrying about is what the person did wrong or what they're not doing right in your eyes. Y'all follow me so far? Like y'all understand what I'm explaining? This is where some of y'all, when y'all talk, it just, it, it, the concept is just, why are you still with the person? Because with all this stuff that you're saying, if you're this much of a victim, why won't you leave? This is why I've been making so many vi uh, videos lately about just leaving, just using the dough. If somebody doing you so wrong or shit is just so bad, like why you won't just go? I'm going to be honest with y'all. A lot of y'all, you really need to learn how to rebuild your relationship. Restore the vibe is what I call it. Because it really ain't that the person is so bad. It's that you're obsessed with every day just looking and focusing your attention on what's bad. You rant by emotions. You don't know how to manage your emotions. So you operate from a space where you feel like you're going to get some sort of award or some sort of act right if you just keep pointing out what the other person ain't doing well. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Somebody say, this is what we're going through now. I'm leaving. Let me, let me explain something to y'all. A lot of y'all that do leave and then you find yourself in a space where you left but you can't really move forward and you don't want to go back, it's because you didn't really understand the real reasons why you left. See, a lot of y'all leave people alone because they doing so much stuff wrong. But if you leave a relationship or a situation alone, it needs to be because of you because of stuff within you that you see that doesn't fit with that situation when y'all call yourself leaving niggas or leaving a bitch alone based on what they doing and you never see no wrong in what you're doing or you never see no reasons to leave that are based on you you always end up circling back around and for some of y'all who ego and pride is on 10 you may not physically circle back around but the motherfuckers be in your mind or if you don't sit there and be thinking about them you never actually allow yourself to open up and move forward with somebody else that's how you know you're confused y'all will leave a situation alone and then you can't find nothing healthy after that situation because it was you it was your mindset it was your inability to manage your emotions you obsessed with the idea that the other person was just so wrong you can't see the practical in the shit was just unbalanced and there are things within you that need to be fixed y'all understand what i'm explaining because this seems like a hard concept for a lot of y'all to get.
Y'all be in relationships and yeah, the nigga be done did something wrong. Yeah, the bitch be done did something wrong, meaning something that went against whatever y'all bond or agreement or, you know, commitment that y'all established. But then, but then y'all never want to talk about how your, your emotions are not managed. So you always approach every communication cycle wrong because there is a right and wrong way to communicate. You never want to talk about how. Hold on, I'm trying to make sure Instagram stay right. My bad, Facebook. Somebody tell me what I tell you about busting me upside the head. Hold on, y'all IG paused. y'all genuinely get what I'm explaining. Like, if you've never, if the relationship you in, if you've never genuinely, let me restart Instagram. relationship you in you've never genuinely gave it a chance from a space of let me sit down and evaluate myself first before I try to go and obsess over what the other person ain't doing right let me make sure I got the things under my feet and under my belt taken care of that play a role in how I interact with others which when you when you talking to me I always explain to y'all this be y'all basics meaning like y'all I'll be in a relationship and because there is stuff in your life that you know you don't have together you will obsess over what the other person don't have together you won't be able to manage your emotions because your esteem about self is not where it should be so you operate in a relationship from a space of you don't ever actually physically think you do anything wrong but you can't see the wrong or the error or the off balance in the mental shit you always doing wrong overthinking stuff creating hypotheticals in your mind reacting based on emotions starting conversations with the intent just to be right not to actually listen but to only just react a lot of y'all don't know how to respond versus react because of course it's always from a space of i'm trying to be right so somebody said it's always facebook Somebody said there is right and wrong. What if you are trying to have a mature conversation and he he just totally flip it and now we both end up fighting with each other about shit we wasn't even first talking about? So let me explain this to y'all, right? And this is part of the reason why I'm doing a Zoom tonight on rebuilding relationships. When you in a relationship, the right and wrong that y'all think shit be about, it do not be about that. Let me be clear. There is no one blanket set of rules that everybody in relationships got to follow. A nigga don't have to agree with you about what you think he doing wrong. A female don't got to agree with you about what you think she doing wrong. You don't have to agree with a person's boundaries. They don't have to agree with yours. Y'all problem is y'all go into situations and you've already told yourself based on either your conversation you had with yourself in your mind or whatever homegirls or family members you talk to or whatever model, whatever. This is the example of how a relationship should be. Whatever your ass been conditioning yourself by watching, you go into conversations, debates, arguments with your partner with the idea that you are already right about something. So you do it wrong too. Y'all think because y'all sit there, maybe because you're a, a little bit more poised than the other person, or you know, they jump to, you know, change the, the actual topic of the conversation based on stuff you bringing up. All of this is poor communication on both ends. Let me give you an example of what what you're talking about about right y'all will be in a situation and you want to have a conversation with your nigga about something that happened right 
you will start talking about, and it could be, let's, let's just be specific. We having this conversation because I, I found out you was texting somebody else. We supposed to be in a monogamous relationship. You ain't supposed to be texting these hoes. So I'm trying to have a conversation about texting these hoes. We having a conversation and I end up bringing up something about something your sister said one time about this shit. Now he done jumped and took that and ran with it. And now we're arguing about something else with his sister that wasn't even the original reason for the conversation. The problem is the stuff that y'all pick to talk about, the topics that y'all go address, don't be the real root of the issue. That's why the shit always go left. Every time y'all catch a nigga doing something or catch a bitch doing something that go against y'all monogamous agreement or go against what y'all feel like they should be doing for the relationship, y'all make it about that actual act and not about overall what the fuck you want from this relationship. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Meaning, you don't be having no boundaries set. You don't even have a real sense of self-esteem because if you did, you wouldn't enter into a relationship without having your emotions managed, meaning I know my values and what I stand on. So no matter how emotional or how overwhelmed with feeling I get, there are things I already have set before this nigga came in the picture that I will or won't tolerate. Y'all don't have this going on, so you don't know how to manage your emotion. You have no boundaries. What I mean by no boundaries is, and a lot of y'all niggas is like this too, you will give away everything for free to where a person ain't have to earn nothing. And then you want to nitpick and obsess over every action that you feel like they've done that don't make sense to you or you feel like it's wronging you. But your ass gave away everything without being peeled back in layers, without a person having to earn you. So the predicament you in, you put yourself in it. But to fast forward, the arguments and the stuff y'all call yourself checking y'all partner about, it don't be the actual stuff y'all should be conversating about. Zoom tonight at 9.30 on rebuilding relationships because a lot of y'all, you think it's the nigga fault or you think it's the bitch fault as to why the relationship ain't working, but it's lack of boundaries. It's no understanding for balance. It's y'all not even having an understanding on what the lines in the sand are that we ain't going to cross when it comes to interacting with one another. To get in the Zoom, you can text 678-965-0698. If you want a one-on-one -on -one personal call on what I'm talking about, you can text 678 or 678-965-0698. Uh, a lot of y'all got to be willing to admit, like... The other person may have done some stuff that I felt like was wrong, but the relationship really never had a real chance because we was never operating from a healthy space. I done did plenty of videos explaining to y'all what a healthy relationship is based around. I gave y'all, I sat here with a notepad and drew out the model of it being established on respect, branching up into trust and going around as such. But a lot of y'all, all you focused on is what a bitch doing wrong. And then of course you never really considered the idea that are we actually trying to address the wrong shit? Is there more of an underlying issue that needs to be communicated? Not you confronting, because a lot of y'all, you think you communicating, but all you're doing is confronting a bitch about what they, what you think they did wrong. It's about two people learning when to shut up. Two, it takes two to argue. This is the thing. In, in most people, uh, communication cycles in their relationship, they're waiting to react not to respond they listen from a space of i am a victim so let me let me hear them long enough to where there's a point for me to speak up and point out no nope, because i'm a victim and that's all you hear in communication it's not really about trying to get to the bottom of you know what the other person did or why they said what they said or what they generally feeling a lot of y'all in relationships even the smallest stuff i'll be explaining to females about being feminine and explaining to niggas about leading in relationships like I, i'll use my relationship for example we always ask each other how you feeling or what's going on with you just on a regular it, the same way like it is your mama teach you it is you know 
respectful and proper to greet people when you walk in a room in relationships y'all got to start normalizing asking a person how they doing because how they doing and notice i'm pointing to my head i ain't talking about how you think they doing based on their clothes or where y'all live or the trips you took or the money they got i'm saying normalize in your relationship asking a person how they doing because this plays a role in why they acting the way they acting why they responding the way they responding why they doing the stuff they doing out in life everything starts with this and see y'all don't check on one another up here because if you did a lot of the stuff a person doing the ways that they acting the feelings they are or aren't showing it would make sense y'all gotta normalize having conversations about what's going on up here first before having conversations about what's going on with their actions out in the world all y'all want to know is oh so this what we doing now so this what we doing so this what you had said i'm saying this how you doing a nigga i'm saying so this what you want this how we rocking it's always from a space of you did something to me And that is another thing. See, I've explained plenty of times on this live. I've even seen people like uh, uh, Ayana um, Van Zandt explain to people like, if you've never had a healthy, mature man in your life, these standards that y'all be going around with or these pictures you painted in your mind, how do you know that it's correct? Same goes for a dude. If you've never had a mature, healthy woman in your life, meaning a female that is balanced, because a lot of y'all, your mammy ain't balanced. Your mother is not one of these, nigga. Like, you don't have no example in your life on what a grown woman is, but yet you will argue with a bitch you in a relationship with all the time about how she ain't grown. All you really could stand on is how you do or don't want to be treated. Same with a lot of y'all females. All you can explain to the dude you dating is, is how you do or don't want to be treated what your boundaries are but y'all will make it about what they ought to be doing and a real, if you was a real nigga you would do this and if you was a real but y'all ain't even got no example in y'all life to show a nigga on what a real man is you don't even know you don't know all you can speak on is what you don't want to happen to you that's it You can't teach a nigga shit, but how you want to be treated. You can't teach a whole shit, bro, but how you want to be treated. That's it. Other than that, unless you got some healthy example in your life or some model of here is what I'm expecting. And the other person needs to know this. Y'all expectations be in y'all mind. Then you go communicating with a nigga based on your expectations that's in your mind. And then you think your communication is, is better than his because you ain't the one that messed up. You wasn't the one, you know, uh, texting these hoes. So you all the way right. the real question right somebody said what if they don't want to talk about what's going on up there what do you, but what do you do but you do rather if you with somebody right and that's your nigga because you know y'all love to say you know that's my nigga that's my boyfriend girl that's my man bitch that's my man ho that's my nigga when you see him you see me you know it, you y'all y'all love to say you know that's your man if you in a relationship and you're attempting to communicate with a person about what's going on with them and they don't want to open up to you, it ain't what you thought it was, bitch. You're not as close. Y'all think because a nigga be fucking y'all raw because you don't have no boundaries. That's really why you as close to the nigga as you is because in all reality, you went into it with no boundaries. You gave everything away for free. And, and who ain't going to get some free shit? Like, who ain't going to take it for free? If you with somebody and you can consciously sit here, type on my live, well, what if you asking the man what's going on with him mentally? Or what if you asking the female what's going on with them and they don't want to talk about it? No, they don't want to talk about it with you. They go in and talking about it with somebody and they going to lie to your ass and tell you they ain't talking about it with nobody. But that's because your ass ain't going to do nothing but react from an emotional space. That's why they keep it from you. This is why I be telling y'all, like, y'all be in these relationships and it be fake. Because if you can't talk to the nigga you with or the bitch you with about the real shit that's going on with you, y'all not actually together. This is why I said that live y'all wanted me to do so bad on getting cheated on. Half of y'all wasn't even cheated on. You wasn't in no relationship. 
Y'all be thinking because he still stay there or because y'all still be fucking, that's still your nigga. Girl, you can call it what you want to call it. The actual uh, what y'all are lie in the actions. The bond that y'all got, it's only as strong as the stuff y'all got private between y'all. If everything that go on with y'all, somebody else know about it or the internet is away, you ain't got no nigga, girl. That's just somebody you saying is your nigga, but we actually know it ain't nothing. Somebody said it's it's hard to communicate because he be so quick to think it's going to turn into an argument. So now let's ask ourselves, hmm, why does he think that? Why do, Why is it that some of y'all in relationships, male, female, gay or straight, why is it that your partner doesn't want to talk to you about certain stuff or doesn't want to open up because they're afraid it's going to turn into an argument? Is it because you usually get emotional and when y'all talk about serious stuff, it turns into an argument? Hmm. Or is it because they weren't actually ready to be in a relationship because their past relationships, they did a lot of toxic shit in arguing? Hmm. He think we going to argue. Bitch, that's because y'all do always argue. Because anytime you say, let's talk, it's never a talk. It's always you complaining about what a nigga done did to you or what the other person doing wrong. And let me tell you a fun fact about human beings, all human beings, no matter how accountable a person is, no one wants to sit there and always talk to somebody that they're going to always be wrong with, even if they always wrong. But y'all know, like I said yesterday, whenever I say I'm doing a Zoom on management of emotions, oh, I know how to manage my emotions. Whenever I say your self-esteem low, let's do a Zoom on goal setting so you can pour back into you and have some solid things under you to stand on so your esteem about self, nope, you already got goals. Tonight, 9.30 p.m., I'm doing a Zoom on rebuilding relationships. You don't feel like you did nothing wrong, so you don't need to be in a relationship. It's just a nigga, 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 or it's the bitch, bitch, bitch. It ain't you. what else to tell y'all I don't most of the relationships that you know failed with y'all the other person probably did do things to you know fuck up the trust and shit like that but the shit kept going in a toxic direction or a downward spiral based on lack of communication mismanagement of emotions not understanding what respect is no boundaries this is when you're allowing a person access to parts of you they did not earn it will always end up being they did something to you when you in a relationship like this i'll give y'all a perfect example and then i'm gonna get off of here i did a one-on-one -on -one with a lady yesterday quick 30 minute call but she explained she would have do they just recently went out of town on a trip they are not in a relationship both of them not just him agree that you know we don't want to be locked in right now but you know we get to know one another cool right the problem with this is they fuck they stay the night at each other's house they've you know been in the presence of each other kids they're taking trips and talking about a future as far as like what he's doing with his money and his career with his music and shit like that she's talking about stuff that you know business goals that she done did a one-on-one -on -one in the past with me on that she's trying to they are crossing lines in each other's lives that should only be crossed when you're in a relationship so now it's to the point where they are getting to know more and more about each other's character and of course they don't have a title on what they're doing so now they in a space where the nigga saying things like, I love you, or I feel like I'm in love with you. The female caring more and more about whether he doing something with his baby mama or not. These things come along with when you start crossing certain lines with another human. And I'm explaining to her, listen, you are going to, this is you at a crossroads right now. You can go left or you can go right, right? She like, what you mean? I'm explaining to her that this is the point where a female get drugged based on her emotions. Because this nigga got access to parts of you that only somebody that is your man should have access to based on the type of woman you know that you are. You know you're not built for all this fucking staying the night, taking trips and shit without a title or a commitment on this shit. To where the nigga got the right to go interact with other females in the same kind of ways he interact. You about to play yourself. 
And once you start feeling some type of way about him, once you start feeling like I want to be with him, and let's say he does it, or let's say the opposite, he wants to be together and you're not ready yet. It's always going to end in somebody being a victim of the other person's act. It's inevitable. Because boundaries are a necessity. There has to be certain things that are off limits to certain people based on where you're at with them. And this goes for men too, because when I talk about boundaries, y'all be thinking I'm only speaking to females. It's certain dudes, like even if I was on a one-on-one -on -one with the nigga that she was talking about, bro, it's certain stuff about your money, your goals, things about yourself as a man, you shouldn't even be sharing with her if this is not a woman that you plan on taking serious and trying to build something with. Because all you doing is allowing her access to parts of your life that if you were to run into another female, that you want to take serious she's going to use as leverage to control or make you look like a bad guy or a villain the old folks been saying it to y'all for years if you give away the fucking milk for free why would a bitch ever buy the cow some of y'all dudes, if a bitch could know all your business without having to respect you as a man, your decisions, your moves, and without having to earn a space in your life, nigga, you ain't nobody for a bitch to submit to. This is why women that come in y'all lives after the holes y'all be done let play in y'all life, they don't take y'all serious because this bitch know everything all up in your business, got, you know, you know, no respect for you, talk to you any kind of way in the presence of a woman that you trying to get take you, to take you serious and you wonder why it goes nowhere with the new bitch, just like it went nowhere with the, but you know y'all got it all figured out. Anyway, 9.30 tonight, Zoom on seven ways to rebuild a relationship. If you want to get in the Zoom, text 678-965-0698. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone call, text 678-965-0698. By the way, today is the last day to get in the Zoom for Saturday, the May 22nd, money, entrepreneurship, um, and goal-setting Zoom just based on scaling your life up when it comes to money and economics. Today is the last day. After today, you will not get in that Zoom. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day.